What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Now today we're behind the wheel of a 2001 Honda Civic. And before you ask me why I'm actually doing a review on this car, I'm actually going to bring up a bigger topic rather than this car. I think this car is actually going to be a really good example for the topic of having a solid daily driver or beater car or whatever you want to call it. These are the unsung heroes of the car community. So to just give some stats right off the bat, this is a 2001 Honda Civic LX. It's a four door automatic. It's got almost 200,000 miles. Now what's nice about this Civic is it does have power windows and power locks because I'm used to the Civics from the 90s They used to have the little roll-up windows. Even though I do kind of miss that a little bit, that is something that is a little refined that you get in this. I know that we're talking about 20, 30 year old technology at this point. I mean, if you go hop in a newer car, you're gonna see a huge difference just in the way it's all constructed and made. The reason why you need a daily driver in your life is for anybody that has some sort of other car, whether it be a project or just a weekend car that you like to work on, once that car is down and you don't have a daily driver, then it's gonna be super hard for you to be able to get back on the road if for any reason your car is gonna be out for longer than 24 hours. But I will say for this car, it's quite civilized and nice just for putting around town. I don't have to worry about it breaking down any second because it's a Honda. Sure, it's gonna leak a little bit of oil. It's got almost 200,000 miles, but I mean, that's to be expected of any car that's this old. So if you were to ask me and say, is there a car out there that can do everything and still be your project car? I would say, yeah, there's plenty of stuff out there. But at the same time, is it very practical? I mean, if you had the space to have another car, wouldn't it make more sense to just have something that's cheap and beat up? Because when you drive a nice car everywhere, there's almost that anxiety deep down in you that you you know at any second that you could crash the car and that could be it. But if you crash your beater car, you know it sucks. I'm not saying that anybody should be involved in an accident, but it's, it's easier to bounce back from rather than having your your pride and joy either get wrecked by something that you couldn't even avoid uh, or, or something else happening of that sort. I've really enjoyed driving the Civic so far. I, I know I'm not pushing it to its absolute limits and that's something that you should never do with a high mileage car like this, but I don't feel fatigued and beat up. I mean, there's sometimes when I get out of my WRX and it feels like I need to go to physical therapy because the coilover suspension is so stiff you can do whatever you want, but I just would highly recommend for anybody out there that's considering getting a cheap, reliable daily driver car to go out and do it. It's really going to change everything for you. But anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.